Oh, all right, you little bastards. I've awoken from my night of cocktails and debauchery, and oh my god, there's a new update to Borderlands 3. Yep, that's right, you little shit stains. Borderlands 3 has released a new patch showing off a brand new vault card for your vault hunters to obtain. This one is called Welcome to Pandora, and it came out of nowhere. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at this new update, seeing what it brought, and then we're going to review all of the new gear. So let's waste no time and go into our inventory where over on the vault card section of the tab, we can find that if we press the right trigger, it will take us down to the Welcome to Pandora vault card. And if we press A on it, it will activate the vault card so that we can now start earning rewards. It also has a really, really, really cool new key design, which is super nice. But let's waste no time now and go straight into all of the new gear. We're going to start with the best stuff and then we're going to go on to the worst stuff. So first First of all, the new SMG, there's two of these, they're both Hyperion SMGs, and the first one is called Gold Rush. The Gold Rush SMG, it says pay dirt, and it says here, enemies drop extra cash when killed. On picking up cash, gain 10% fire rate and mag size for 20 seconds. And it also has like a really cool weapon shield, which all these Hyperion guns do. Now, I am going to be trying out all of these guns at the end of the video. But for now, let's move on to the next SMG, which sounds really cool. This is called the Troubleshooter. And this gun right here, it says identifies the weaknesses of each target and modifies the elemental type accordingly, which is really, really cool. So this gun, it sounds like is literally going to change its element depending on what you're fighting to match it. This right here might be the new best SMG in Borderlands 3. And while I haven't tried it yet, just by reading the card, it sounds extremely useful. Now, moving on, we've got a grenade here called the Pyro Burst. And I don't know why, but the red text says Keck W. I, I, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know what this grenade does. I just, I, why does it say Keck W? Why Gearbox? Now, finally, for the last item, this is ridiculous, man. The Schluter. The. 100,000% legendary drop chance. Why? While I haven't tried this yet, and I should probably withhold my judgment, this just seems like a terrible idea. It seems like a very, very easy way to discourage players from farming their items and just trying to get them world dropped. And hey, if that's what people want to do, then go for it. But this this does not sound like good news to me. This artifact on paper as of right now, just I am this is terrible. Moving on into the cosmetic section, the first thing we have is an echo skin called Final Destination. This is like a really cool tie-dye kind of Pandora design. It looks really, really nice. The next echo design is advanced alien technology, which is like an iridian stone design. This one looks super, super cool. We've got Rocky Talkie, which turns the Echo device into basically a bar of Iridium. This one I really like. This might be one of my new favorite Echo skins. We've got the Gorties Connection, which is the Gorties from Tails. This one is super clean with the red and white and a little bit of yellow. It's kind of got that Iron Man feel almost. I, this one is just super clean. And then finally, we've got the Sandline one. I love the pink and the blue here. The coloring is just really nice. Like whatever artist did the Echo designs for this vault card, really clean. Next up, into the weapon skins, we've only got one this time around, which is a huge L in my opinion. It's called the Homecoming Weapon Skin. Now, I don't know if this is some kind of Easter egg to something. I, it just doesn't ring a bell to me. It does look cool, don't get me wrong, but I just don't recognize it from anywhere. If you guys know, please let me know in the comment section. Next up for the weapon trinkets, we've got Relax Trap. This is kind of like a little clap trap. It looks really, really clean. We've got Dry Heat. This is probably the most underwhelming one. We've got this Toch Key, I think that says, or Choch Key. It's just basically the Pandora Vault. It looks very, very, very clean. We've got the Tiny Vault. This one, it won't let me rotate, but it's definitely probably the worst of all of them. We We've got the Shooter Shuffle, which is literally just the, the Pandora bus from Borderlands 1. This looks really, really nice. And then finally, we've got the War Welcome Weapon Trinket, which is the Pandora sign. So really nice trinkets this time around. Last time they weren't the greatest, but I'm glad to see that we got some really nice trinkets now. For the skins, we've got the Oasis Chick skin, which I'm not the biggest fan of. It also comes with the Garish Hunter Gunner Head, which is Fiona from Tails. For Zane, you've got a head which looks like Shade from Borderlands 2 and also Tails. We've also got the Derringer Duds skin as well. We've got the Con Martial Artist head for Amara, which makes her look like Sasha from Tails, which is really, really cool. I love this head. 
only because S Sasha's a baddie. We've got the load look skin. This one is not showing that well on my character, but I think it's going to be more like a traditional Hyperion loader bot. We've got the crook look skin, which again doesn't show up all that great on my character, unfortunately. And then finally for Flaxhead, we've got the stranger, which is literally just the stranger from Tails, which is super, super neat. Although I will say with this one, we already have a head for Flack, which looks very, very similar to this, I believe. I could be wrong, but I'm sure there's one that's very, very similar to this. Now, finally, for our emotes, we've got the guns blazing emote, which isn't all that great. I mean, emotes, who, who uses emotes anyway? We've got the claw emote as well. This one's really nice, actually. And then finally here, we've got the room decorations, one of which is a dead fish. So if you're watching this, Graham, go f*** yourself. Justice for my boy Larry out here. I ain't taking this slander anymore. So all in all, I think the rewards for this vault card are very, very cool. And it's even cooler that you don't have to only do this one. You can choose between which vault card you want to do, which you want to earn keys for. And I find that really, really, really neat. But anyway, I'm going to go and do some farming. And when I'm back, I'm going to get all of the new gear from this vault card. And we're going to test it out to see just how it performs. So I'll be right back. All right, we're back and we're at the Malawan takedown where I have acquired all of the new gear from the vault card. One of which, or pretty much all of which, apart from the gold rush, which I had to reroll, did not come with an anointment. Thank you so much, Gearbox. But nonetheless, we've got all of the gear including the what oh gee i just why did why did this have to happen why but the first thing that i actually want to check out is going to be none other than the pyro burst or the kek w grenade wait actually hold on i've just noticed why is my max size 145 on this guy oh my god okay so before we do anything i'm going to chuck the kek w grenade and just see what it does and it does that oh and it's fireworks. Congrat- I can only imagine there's some kind of easter egg tied to this grenade because why else would it have Keck W for the red text? But, um, yeah, I mean, no, it's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if I'll be using it. It looks like an easy way to- do Oh my god. Alright, so the first one we're going to be testing out is going to be none other than the- the- what is it? The, the troubleshooter, the one that changes elements. So over here- We've got an enemy with a shield, so let's see if it changes all of the projectiles to be shock. Of course, we're going to have fire because the skag's then, but let's see. Oh, yeah, so like all of it is shock. Oh, my God, that's really cool. Yeah, this, this, this is not okay. This might be the best SMG. Oh, my God. The next one we're going to be testing out is the gold rush. This one says enemies drop extra cash when killed, and when we pick it up, we get 10% more fire rate and max size. I, I can't imagine this one's going to be that great, but... Let's, let's see what it does here. So, right off the bat, uh, this thing, it sucks. Really bad. Oh, wait, is that cash? Oh, we have cash. There we go. Okay, we, we got cash. We're going to pick it up. And, oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, my God. Now we have a... Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. This thing fires faster than I do when I have... Oh, never, never. But I will say, though, these two SMGs are going to be very good. Although, I think the troubleshooter is what's going to come out on top. I'm sure there's already people talking about power creep. But I think this thing's really, really cool. Now, let me ask you guys, what do you see when you see this artifact? Because I see angry Twitter threads. I see modded items. I see, I, this is, this is like eBay listings, right? I mean, what is this? I can only imagine how this is going to go. I, I'm just hoping that the 100% or 100,000% isn't as big as I think it is. But I, I, I have got, I have just got the worst expectations for this. And uh, I can see a legendary over there, which I don't remember killing an enemy for. So in the first section of Athena's, we already got two legendaries, which... I, I mean, you come to your own conclusions, but that just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Alright, so Grave Ward's down, and let's see just... Let's, let's just see how many legendaries we get from Mr. Mr. Grave Ward here. Perhaps I'll be pleasantly surprised. Nope. Nope, don't like that. Nope. 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 <laughs> Nope, don't like that. Well, gamers, in conclusion, the new vault card's pretty damn awesome. So if you want to try it out, feel free to hop in game and let me know what you think of it. But with that being said, I hope you guys have been enjoying the videos as of late. Let me know what you think of the new vault card in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.